Harp Junae and the traditions associated with it are the oldest unbroken tradition in man that has never had to be revived and it connects us with our ancestors going back hundreds of years. In Peel we'd get hold of a turnip and it had to have a nice stalk or, that would be used for the handle. The top would be cut off evenly and then you'd use a sharp edged spoon to scoop it out onto some newspaper. Then a pen knife is very good for you know, getting into the little bits that are difficult to get to. And these symbols always seem to include um, a cat, a witch, um, a castle, a fishing boat, moon and stars, and a cottage with a little bit of smoke coming out of the, the chimney. Why these symbols, I really don't know, and I've never seen any explanation for it. And then the candle would be put inside, and the candle lit, and the lid put on, and off you go round the houses. And you'd knock at the door, and you'd sing the song. And that was Hopchine, put in the pot, Hopchine, scold me trot, Hopchine, I met an old woman, Hopchine, she's bacon bonnets, Hopchine, I asked for a bit, Hopchine, she gave me a bit as big as my big toe, Hopchine, I dipped it in milk, Hopchine, I wrapped it in silk, Hopchune, tra la lay, Ginny the witch went over the house to catch a stick to ladder the mouse, Hopchune, Tra la lay. If you don't give us something, we'll run away with the light of the moon. I enjoy this tradition so much that my children did it, and I'm pretty sure that my grandchildren are now looking out in the shops for a suitable turnip to scoop out on Hopchin A night. <laughs>